Okay, what is up everybody? This is episode 2 of the Beginner's Guide to the Hunter Call of the Wild. If you didn't see last episode, make sure you check, go check it out. I kind of talked about the really basics of the game there, but I just want to quickly show you guys. We did do a little bit of a change to our inventory, so I am going to be rocking the 270 in my slot 1, then my binoculars in slot 2, and then the rangefinder 243, the starting weapon, on slot 3. And then I just put the deer breed collar down at the bottom, so that if I go over to the... 270 I can just easily select that and I just noticed I forgot to put a scope on this gun so let's just start with that I guess placing that on here let's just go all the way up I'll show you guys how to do that too and now next thing we want to do is on the map if you want you can go ahead and start doing the missions but something that I really want to start doing is just going ahead and hunting for a little bit just to start getting our XP and our cash up and while we do that we're I feel like we should just quickly go ahead and get this outpost and from this outpost we're gonna go over to this lake here because we are in blacktail drinking time I think we are right now and I know on my other maps I have a ton of blacktail zones here so that's the plan for this episode but first of all let's get to this house and I'll catch you when I'm there okay guys real quick before we are there I was just gonna really talk about remember these need zones I was talking about so if you ever see this around, uh, just press it and you'll see we have a feed zone here now. And then if we go on our map and highlight that, uh, we're going to see from what time this is. So if we zoom in here, this should tell us that it goes, though it's white-tailed jackrabbit, so it's for the little rabbits on this map. And they eat here from 5 o'clock to 11.30. So that means that between 5 o'clock and 11.30, you should be seeing little rabbits running around here and eating well you don't really see them eating they're just going to be sitting around here doing their thing and if you want to hunt them go ahead hunt them they don't bring a lot of cash or xp so i kind of just let them be but it's definitely an option for later games for getting easy diamonds as well just because their max level is level three and yeah while we're going to the outpost right now i do kind of want to mention a few things so uh, first things first down in the bottom you can kind of see this compass and you can see that where i'm looking right now there's like this kind of cone this green cone that is where the wind is so that is the direction which animals can smell you so you always kind of want to go against that so optimally you want to walk in that direction there so that the animals won't spook and smell you next to that you can see this green bar that is obviously your health and that can decline from falling down things or animals attacking you then down the bottom right, you can kind of see my heart, it's like red and pounding, that's your heartbeat. If that's up like that, you won't be able to take a very good and steady shot, so you want to make sure that it's white and basically standing still. Uh, then next to that, you can see the circle, and that's how visible you are, so circle, that means you're very visible. If you crouch, it means that you're about visible for about 25 to 50 meters, or you can lay down, and it should become less, and it basically means that you're even less visible and if you stand on like trees or hidden things you can either have a small straight line which means that the animal has to be like right there to see you or basically invisible where it means that the animal has to like like right walk up to you to notice that you're there or smell you and then to the right of that the last thing that you see is the sound so basically while i'm sprinting here the more sound i make the more red it becomes if it's all white or like tangling a little bit with red i have the experience with it that it's not going to be really that bad, you're going to be pretty fine. However, do try and be quiet if you're hunting big game. I'm just trying to get the outpost and getting up to the lake there, so I'm not too worried about that right now, but yeah. Let's check, is there anything we can get here for cash? No, okay, so let's just get this outpost and then I'll meet you guys at the lake in just a second. Okay guys, so we just arrived at the lake. I did just find um, a drinking zone here. Uh, but I forgot to hit record, so that's really just my bad. I did just spook all the animals, but Yeah, let's just go ahead and look if on the other side there's any animals Just because well hunting pressure wise that is uh, not hunting pressure wind wise that is the smartest way to go Because well kind of going in that direction. I feel like the wind's just gonna change on us too much and I don't really want to be fighting hunting pressure especially with our scope that we have right now it's not that great we can't really see that far so 
we really want to try and get every single advantage we can and just try and get easy shots rather than difficult ones like that one right there we should probably try and go for that if he doesn't decide to run off like he just did so right now just because of our tracking knowledge i would recommend you not to track him but once again um I'm gonna leave that up to you. If you're really desperate for the cash and you feel like you have a lot of time, then go ahead and do it. But because I'm just trying to be a little bit more entertaining and not trying to get every single kill here right now, I'm gonna leave him where he is. But if I do see him come out here in the open again, I will go ahead and get him. But, or her basically. Don't really seem to see anything here, so let's just jog on. Usually, on, any, every, on every other game that we had so far, I didn't manage to find a lot of game on this lake, but that might just be because I'm not here in the best time, because it's only black tail drink time right now, and I do have more of a white tail zones here than I do black tail zones. But either way. They do have another zone later on at 17, so maybe they're only going to come here at 5 p.m. Or at another time, or like later. But I guess we'll just find that out later. Let's just start then with going over that side, and I'll catch back up with you guys if I actually do find something. Okay, so I literally just ended the other part like I was right there and then this black tail just came into rendering distance I hope it's more than just uh, one doe but I mean I'll take what I can get quite honestly just because I do want to progress this and not be stuck with the 270 the entire game so I'm just gonna mark him just because we don't have a rangefinder just to have a roundabout understanding of how far he is away Oh, and there's some more. Oh, there's actually a nice four right there. I don't really want to mess him up, but I doubt that he'll actually be diamond potential. So, yeah, we're just going to try and scoot a little bit closer. Try and get one of them, but I think we are going to be going for the buck. Just because cash-wise, it is smarter, but I'm just noticing... The zone, like the wind is really not in our favor so let's just go ahead and get the dough uh, let's just hope I actually nail the shot and don't butcher it and we totally butchered the shot but never mind that's actually not bad because it didn't spook apparently and so yeah I'm not used to the small scope so do bear with me here and I don't have the zeroing perk so I can't really I don't really know what distance we're on right now I do feel like we should be on 150 but once again I'm not too sure with this but yeah let's just try and get a little bit closer hopefully they don't smell us too early and try and go for that shot otherwise I'm just gonna go over to their side and wait for them to come back because with zones they do tend to come back to their zones as long as they're not too scared but once again it is kind of a bit weird with the new system that they put up with the new scoring system with the whole being not fleeing state but the nervous state where you can't call them in and they won't always come back to the zone but that's getting very technical. Some of you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Um, so yeah, let's try and go for the shot. I haven't heard them give me a warning call. There it is. So yeah, they're probably going to be spooking. But there are quite a few nice ones right over there. And I think just because the other ones are going to spook, let's just go for a shot on him. And... I think we actually dropped him, so let's go over there, have a check what he was, and then come back to the ones that we spotted right before, even though I do think, yeah, they are definitely fleeing. 
and he has quite a nice track usually i'd go for him but since i only have the 270 i don't really want to risk losing him or not getting the right trophy rating and then messing up gold so yeah let's just collect what we had right here he is dead so let's hope that he just dropped instantly and that it was a good enough double long shot seems like it you can usually see that like the white outline and the vital organ hit as i explained in episode one so yeah, let's just have a look he had some nice antlers actually so let's go ahead i actually got a really nice hard shot on him very happy with that and once again we got about 1100 cash and about 47 uh, trophy rating and he was a gold he looked quite nice so yeah i'm gonna save him just because of purposes and here's our first level up uh, this time it's a perk point so let's go into perks and let's actually go into rifles uh, just because i want to get the muscle memory so this unlocks the ability to take your next shot without leaving aim mode for rifles shotguns and handguns so that means basically that if we scope in and shoot we don't have to leave the scope until we take the next shot which is really really going to help us a lot trust me this is going to be an amazing perk to have for the future and just in general this is going to help us a lot i am sorry that there's this like stances thing here and everything else like at the side i'm trying to get rid of that but no matter what i do it just kind of seems to stay there i'm trying to get a f try and fix that so that this doesn't happen again in the other episodes but I can't promise anything, I'm not too sure how like to get rid of that. If you guys know how to get rid of that, one of you guys knows, please just help me out in the comments. But yeah, one other thing I did want to mention before we end this episode right here as well, is just, oh, actually let's get her while she's standing there. Outline the animal, go for the simple shot. And let's look if we got her. Is I'm going to be putting a post down below. Uh, or a spreadsheet, if you will. Now, why can't I stand up? There we go. Um, for uh, finding zone times for variations. It has everything that you guys need really to find out anything on the manual. Uh, I am going to link it down below. It's not by me. It's created by s multiple YouTubers. And it's just amazing. Especially if you're like further into the game and not a beginner, it's even more helpful at that point. And you see, there's just a ton of deer around this lake. Really do come check this out. I'm gonna show one more time on the map where that is. It's right over here in this, and like the, the next to like the Southern Ridge, Balmont. I think it's called yeah, Balmont Lake. Just go check out Balmont Lake. It's it's amazing. You find a ton of deer around here, you'll find something here like at any part of the day. And really, it's it's just really worth coming here. Trust me, and yeah, looks like we did get a vital shot earlier before. Uh, yeah, we did. We passed all the harvest checks, a bit high on the long, but we still did get it. And so yeah, we're going to be ending the episode off with having... Let's have a look. Now let's get out of this, let's go into the normal codex. On our profile card so i do not know why that name is there i changed my steam name but never mind so we're at level three now and yeah we have 157 rifle score we need quite a bit more but i'm pretty sure we can do that in the next episode so yeah i'll see you then have a good day bye bye and peace